Welcome to All About the Butte College Library, presented by the Northern Flickers, Julian Riggs, Tanner Smith, and Aaron Francine. Also, a little go-getter to get your present to get our presentation started. Where does a librarian sleep? Between the covers. Collectively, as a group, we chose this resource to talk about via text as a group decision. We thought this was the best resource to research and inform our peers about. It's a resource that students use here often. This information is crucial to any Butte College student because it informs you about exactly how to use all the resources that the library provides. We have done extensive research on the Butte College website along with interviews with the staff and even compared it to similar resources at other colleges. The information we've gathered will help students to learn more about the library and help them to excel in their courses. Our group, the Northern Flickers, are going to answer all the questions you might have about the library. The Butte College Library is a great free resource. First, I'm going to talk about the where, the when, and a little bit of the how. What is this resource, the library, and when can I use it? How do I find the library? How do I access its vast resources? Basically, I will try to answer all the questions about general information you might have about the library. Second, Tanner will be answering the what. What is the library? What specific services does the library offer? Third, you'll get to hear from me again, Erin, about the why. Why should I, as a student, use the library? Why would I be interested in this awesome resource? Lastly, Julia will also answer the why. Why is the Butte College Library special? What makes the Butte College Library unique or different from other community college libraries? Now that you know to listen closely for the where, the when, the how, the what, and the why about the library, let's go! Time to find the library! is the library. The Butte College Library is located next to the Campus Center. If you are looking at a Butte College campus map, it will be abbreviated as LB next to CC. Their phone number is 530-879-4024. When is the library open? Based on their website, you can easily find they are open Monday through Thursday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. How do I use the library? You can access the library online or in person. Most of the services the library offers are available online. The library's website can be accessed at butte.edu library. All the information about using the library is easily accessible through their homepage. As confirmed by one of the two main librarians, Mike Smith, you can access the library by emailing a librarian, online chat, call on the phone, search for books or articles online, or ask a question in person at the reference desk. To check out an actual book, all you need is a picture ID or your student ID card. Now that you know where to find the library, when it is open, and how to access its services, let's open the next chapter of this saga to hear from Tanner. He is going to share what services the library has to offer. Now that you know where to find the library, when it is open, and how to access its services, let's open the next chapter of this saga to hear from Tanner. He is going to share what services the library has to offer. Thank you, Erin. According to the library directory and the Butte College website, there are three floors of resources. The first floor of the library contains magazines, newspapers, and graphic novels, as well as charging stations, if you're running low on battery, and a reading lounge if you need a quiet place to catch up on some reading. On the second floor, you are greeted with the reference desk where you will find the librarians and be able to find any information or ask any questions that you may have. You will also find the reference book collection with subject-based encyclopedias, the circulation and reserves desk where you go to check out and return books, the computer lab if you need access to the internet, as well as printers, scanners, and copiers, which only print in black and white. 
The third floor consists mainly of the circulating book stacks, which are the books that you may check out and cover every subject area. It also includes the law collection and group study rooms that you may reserve to work on a group project or just as a quiet place to study. The library also has a variety of online resources available, including ebooks, the database where you can find collections of articles written by scholars, researchers, or specialists, as well as research guides where you can find information for a paper or presentation. Wow, those are some really great services our college library offers. But why would I be interested in actually using them? Let's find out next from Erin. Why should students use the library? Well, I think the library's main goal is to equip students to do their best in class and to help them learn. The library is a great resource for research. During my interview with librarian Mike Smith, he said the number one question that he gets asked is how do I find articles related to blank for students doing research on a paper? I also think the library has some great how-to videos on citing sources or how to do research and many other helpful videos. The Butte College Library has evolved with the times. It used to provide mostly in-person services, and now it is almost all online. As a member of the Information Technology and Library Editorial Board, Paul Swanson writes in his Editorial Board Thoughts, building a culture of resilience in libraries, that libraries have to go beyond the flexible into the realm of resilience. With the pandemic, libraries have been among the few ready to provide distance and online services. Butte College has definitely become flexible and is resilient. They have adjusted easily to change. Butte College Library has also made their services more accessible to, to students with no fee printing. They have done away with the cost of printing and copying this semester. If you turn in a book late, there is a fee, but that is the only cost for using the library. The library is helpful to students who need access to a computer to complete online classwork or even rent a laptop for the semester. Personally, I have used the library's computer lab for another class this semester to take my online quizzes. It was easy, it was quiet, and it was a good alternative study space from my usual computer at home. And look around. Our group, the Northern Flickers, is using another library resource, an individual group study room rentable by the day. I hope you feel excited to drive out to Butte College and get to the library right now. Well, maybe not, but hopefully you have a sense of why this is a great resource to help you do your best in class. Let's turn the page and hear from Julia next about why Butte College is special and different from other libraries. Thank you, Erin. Today, I'm going to talk about our library and the difference between ours and Sac City College. Sac City's library has a bunch of, a bunch of features that are the same as ours. Library is listed under student resources, just like it is for us on Butte College Library website and the pages as well. Um, under Sac City tabs, under the library tab, you'll find a list of what and where to find certain resources that Sac City Student Library has to offer, as well as the Butte College Library website page has the same for us as well, which they both make it easy to navigate and find what you're looking for. On Sac City's homepage, you have Essentials tab that will help you with things like research database, research slash make appointments for study rooms and computer labs, or how to use the printers and to reserve a printer. Sac City has a canvas just like us, but instead of canvas, they call it a pilot. Um, at Sac City's website as well, they have different categories and sections that are easy to find and narrow down your searches to help you with those research projects, as well as Butte College does the same for you by making it easy to find a research tab to click on. As well, Butte College Library website, you come across right away to a search bar as well as an easy reach tab to get to where you need to, to be depending on the needs for example, studying using the printers and how to check out books and articles. The Butte College Library also has an online bookstore as well, and they have a bookstore on both campuses that are have two different locations. The Butte College Library page also includes the hours as well as includes the hours for the bookstores on each campus. 
The Butte Carl Village Library offers free Wi-Fi and virtual hotspots to help access the internet for projects and research as well. As well as the Butte College also offers different equipment and materials for those living with a disability that will help them on their path to success. You can check these out at your local library here at Butte College. Both libraries have some pros and cons. Here are some of them. Both libraries have their niches. I would say that Butte, Co Butte College libraries and bookstore websites on the library page are more engaged towards students' needs and resources whereas Sac City is more based on a college store for apparel, athletic wear, etc. Sac City College Library, however, and website are easy to navigate and well-designed, and I would say that Sac City's bookstore on campus and online caters to more of a school store rather than a resource for students' needs in the academic section. I would also say that Butte College does a good job at making it known that we have this huge resource to us at all times and creates easy access to those who make it in person to either the main campus or a campus on, in town, which is the Skyway Center. Both library pages have a feature where you can live chat a librarian to help with any questions or concerns you may have while trying to navigate things in the library and on their websites. Both also give you a good guide on their faculty and include how to find the library, as well as the faculty department and their section. Both on-campus and off-campus provide maps which include how to find the library. As we close one chapter and go to the next, we would like to thank our audience for bearing with us as we turn the pages throughout our presentation and informing our peers and or future students about one of the biggest resources our campus has to offer. We hope that learning about the general information, services, why should students use the library, and last but not least, comparing our Butte College library to those in the surrounding areas has helped you or made you feel less anxious about getting to know your Butte College campus resource, the library. With this vital information that you have been provided, you will now be able to use the variety of wonderful resources that our campus library offers. Tanner, Julia, and I have given you an in-depth look at the library. I have one last question for you. Do you know how many librarians it takes to change a light bulb? No? But I know where you can look it up, and now so do you. Let us commit to visiting the library in person or through their website to become a better student, to learn more, and to be equipped to do well in our classes.